Today we're going to learn about finding the area of a rectangle. We're going to look at these two examples to start with. Before we begin though, let's remind ourselves that area equals length times the width, okay? All right, so in this first example, it's very simple. We have a length and we have a width. Simply fill in the values, six times four, okay? And so you have an area of 24. In order to write this correctly though, we want to show that this is two dimensional and so we wanna write 24 uh, feet squared, okay? So the two here means squared. All right, so for this next example, I'm already given what the area is. So remember, area equals length times width, right here. So if I'm given the area, and we know that the area is 21, I can come and fill in those values. 21 equals blank times three. So we're missing a length, aren't we? We have a width, we need the length. So what times three equals 21? Seven, all right. So now we know that the length is seven centimeters. All right, so notice that this, we are told that this is a square. And so what do we know about a square? All sides are equal. All right, so if all sides are equal, you know that you, each one would be nine. We only need two dimensions, right? So we need area equals a length and a width, nine times nine. So our area is gonna be 81 inches squared, okay? So in this example, we we're told that this is a rectangle. This one's a little different. Notice that we're given one length. We're told what the perimeter is. Remember, the perimeter is all the way around, but we are asked to find the area. All right, so this is three steps in order to find this out. Step one, we're going to fill in the sides, what we know about the sides. And we know if this is seven, this has to be seven yards as well, okay? Step two, the step two is we're going to subtract what, we, what is known from the total. So seven and seven is 14. So let's take 22, which is the total all the way around, and we're gonna subtract 14 from that. So just do your regular subtraction, and you get eight. Now, if I were to fill in eight here and eight here, then my perimeter would not be 22. So that's why we have step three. Step three is divide by two. So eight divided by two equals four. So you can fill in the entire rectangle and check it and make sure that it equals 22. All right, so once you get to this stage, you can fill out the area because all you need for area, remember, is length times width. Seven times four is 28. Don't forget, yards squared. So remember, when you are given the perimeter, but you're still trying to find the area, follow the three steps. Fill in the sides, what's given, subtract these two numbers from your total and divide by two in order to find that missing side. All right, so just to recap, how do we find the area when the perimeter is given and you only have one side? 
label, you're filling in the sides, step one. Step two is add these two together, but subtract from your subtract from your perimeter. And then step three, divide, and you'll get your missing side. And then you can just simply multiply length times width to find the area.